My name is Johan and I work for Spalding Ridge and advisory firm, passionate about helping leaders to make faster and better decisions using cloud-based technology. Today, I'm going to introduce you to DocuSign CLM, one of several tools we offer our client. With DocuSign CLM, you can streamline the agreement lifecycle from end to end. You can do business faster by automating manual tasks, orchestrate complex workflows, and eliminate bottlenecks to get work done faster and more accurately. At the same time, you can decrease the cost of non-compliance by using a standardized business process and increase oversight while reducing dependency on your legal team. Finally, you can improve customer experience with a transparent, convenient, and accelerated contracting experience. This is an example of a dashboard providing an overview of contracts and their expiration dates, as well as information on pending contracts and total contracts and their amounts for this year. I'm now going to walk you through how easy it is to initiate a workflow for a non-disclosure agreement and follow that through its entire process from creation, redlining, and signature with multiple actors. Click action on NDA. I select which template I want to use, and then I fill out this pre-configured form. And some of the information I have already entered prior to this demonstration. And towards the bottom of this form, you can see an example of pre-approved uh, uh, pre -approved clauses, uh, which makes it easier and more efficient for me to launch an NDA document. Once the document has been created, it's going to follow a pre-configured workflow created using the CLM workflow engine. And uh, this workflow is, of course, highly configurable uh, to what the organization requires. So the person in the workflow receiving a task will receive the task via email or can access the task directly in CLM. So the person opens up the task, review and send for external review. Over on the left hand side, I can see a pre-configured uh, message. I can also find a number of attributes assigned to the document. These attributes can be either automatically assigned to the document or manually as part of the workflow process. So I click send, and now the agreement is being sent to the third party for review. The third party will receive an email. No need to have a CLM um, uh, license to be able to do this part of the process. The third party clicks the review button. and the document is opened up in a secure portal. And you can, the third party can look at the document in this window here, if he or she wants to make any changes, they can do that by downloading the document, open it up in Word, I'm going to enable editing here and then add a little bit of text and text here. And then I save the document, close it, move to the next step in the portal, and I upload my new version here. And then click next and finish. When I've done that, there will be a new task automatically created within the CLM system. And because there has been a change made to the document, the system can recognize that and the document is sent for legal review. So legal opens up the task and as part of the review, I can compare the most recent version with any of the previous versions of this document and all the different versions will be saved in the system and you can access them through the history 
uh, of the particular document, which we will look at a little bit later. We're doing this on a testing environment, which is a little bit slower than the production environment, but the comparison will show up shortly here. So the document is being loaded, and shortly there you will see the red line here. I am okay with this from uh, legal. So now I'm going to send this for signature, click complete. And now there is yet another task created within CLM, which is called review and send for signature. So the person owning that task will be okay will be able to open it up and then send it for signature. Once I click this send for signature, I'm going to end up automatically in another page. And in this page, I only have one signer, but I can have as many signers that I need. I can set the different signing orders if, if that is, um, if I have to do that. If I then click next, and here I can scroll down and I can see all the different fields where the signer has to fill out information. And once I'm happy with that, I click send. And once I've clicked send, the recipient will receive an email, MDA for signature, the person clicks review document, and then the signature experience will be guided. So it's a very simple process. And you can also, if you don't want to, you can decline to sign or you can assign the signature to someone else. In this case, I've signed and I click finish. And once I click finish, all the different actors in the process will be receiving an email with the completed document. And if I go back into the system, I can use the search function. To search for documents that is has been modified by myself today and if I can find the latest documents here here we can see the two final documents so we have the certificate of completion which looks like this. Here on this document, I can see, for example, uh, who has signed and when. And if I open up the other PDF document, I can see the actual agreement. And I can access the document's history from this more button here. And here I can see all the different activities taken on this particular document. So thank you very much for that. Please visit us uh, on spaldingridge.com for more information. Thank you very much.